I got another nice little score off eBay. I got the uh, David Gilmore DG20 EMG Active Pit Guard for my old Stratocaster. I got the Stratocaster in uh, fall of 1992, early 93, um, as you can tell. Gilmore and Pink Floyd was a uh, big influence on my life at that time, still are. And uh, this was about as close as I could get to his red Stratocaster he was playing that time. This is a candy apple red made in Mexico Stratocaster. Uh, rosewood fretboard on it. He always used maple. I shouldn't say always used maple. Some of his guitars have rosewood. In fact, his famous black Strat actually started with a rosewood fretboard. As you can tell, this is not the, the stock pit guard. Originally, it had just your normal three single coils. This is a carbon pre-wired pickup. I think these are S22s, and this is like an S60 humbucker, I think. And it's got a coil tap switch. I really like how the Strat sounds with this. The humbucker especially is really, sounds really mean for a Strat, you know. But it still buzzes like crazy. Now, when I take this off, you're going to see some of my attempts to fix that buzz. Part of it was, of course, just getting a humbucker right off the bat. Attempt to fix the buzz. Buck the hum, as they call it. So I'm going to take off the strings. You can actually swap this out just by loosening the strings and carefully sliding everything out. But I'm going to take the strings off mainly because yeah, inside I've got uh, some things that I want to point out and address while I'm in here. There's the inside. You can see I added the shielding when I did that because uh, Mexican Strats especially did not have the shielding and I was watching some videos and pictures of Gilmore's 57 reissue and it also doesn't have shielding in it. Um, but one thing I did not do, I did not ground the shielding. I bet that's what it was doing right there. It might have been grounded by accident because this solder point was touching over here, but it obviously would have been a good solid connection. There's the inside of my Strat, in case you're wondering. Oh, and it's a good thing. I almost, instead of getting the David Gilmore set, which is just your three single coils, I almost went with, quote, the Kirk Hammett set. I forgot he actually played a Strat. And you can see it in the uh, the one video from 86. He's playing a Strat. And they're, they're three single coils. I show them off several times, just straight up passive single coils. Anyways, EMG also has a Kirk Hammett set that has two 81 humbuckers, and I almost ordered that thinking, surely it's got a cutout for a humbucker. It does not. So I would have had to route that out. So I'm really glad I stuck to my, my gut of wanting to finish this guitar's transformation into my, my Gilmore Tribute guitar. Take off the back plate here over the, uh, over the bridge. And So here's inside the bridge. Here's your bridge ground, which is just a bare wire. Interesting. I also can't remember if that's factory or not, the Gilmore Strat. I think he's got them just, you know, one on the ends and then one in the middle. But I'm going to check that because it seems like it'd be a little weird this way. But the EMGs don't need the bridge ground. So I'm going to kind of coil it up and stick it up in there. That's how he has his uh, springs. Just three of them parallel, the two outers, and then the middle slot there. And as you can see there, I I cut off most of it. I left about that much. So I can crimp onto it if I need to, if I ever want to run it, or if I do wind up needing a bridge ground. Took out the, uh, the shielding. The MG doesn't need to be grounded because it's, you know, it's active electronics. It already is grounded. 
The pickups themselves are all shielded and everything's part of the deal. You don't need any shielding in there. And like I said, pictures I had seen of the actual red strap, it doesn't have any shielding. His whole point was he was getting really annoyed with the, the passive buzzing because he's surrounded by crazy powerful lights and electronics that are causing all kinds of ground loop, 120 hertz buzz, the 60 hertz buzz, all that stuff going on. If he wasn't using shielding and had a nice quiet guitar, I, I don't think I need it. The original jack. Um, has caused me problems for a long time. It's just a little two-wire job set up on there, right there and there. Anyways, it's always kind of caused me problems. Uh, the nut is a uh, 3 8 15 30 seconds. All right, here's the new, you know, same same jack, just has the different uh, leads on it there. Oh, and it also did come with new... Uh, New nut and washer, lock washer. There we go. Yeah, input jack, no big deal. It's a slightly bigger nut, <laughs> of course. Half inch. So the bridge ground will come out right here and connects to one of the pots. There. Might have to take that back out and do the toothpick trick in the hole there. All right, so there we got those two. All right, one thing I've learned is you never put it all together and button it all up and string it up and plug it in and expect it to work because something will go wrong. So you always test as you go. So I got the input jack in mounted. Let's make sure. Okay, quarter inch input jack, output jack. Works just fine. Perfect. And another moment of truth. Plugged in the 9 volt battery, got my output jack in, got it plugged into the end of the Marshall over there, got uh, position one, which is the bridge. We should hear noise. Sweet. Position, oh, actually, so bridge, dead, dead. This should be bridge in middle, and dead. It should be middle, dead, dead, and no neck. And it's only neck, dead, dead. And it's Sweet. Where the uh, battery hides, so you just simply tuck the battery in under there. They say that when you get it all set up, you can take out these four screws and you can pick that up enough to pull it out of there. So we'll see. I've also read that for EMGs, especially these are very low draw and that the battery lasts pretty much forever unless you forget and of course leave it plugged in, which I've totally never done on my other guitars with actives. One other thing I wanted to show before I button it all up there. So these are where the tone knobs connect. And they are labeled SPC down here on this tone knob. And the other one is labeled EXG there, that middle knob, the top tone knob. Those aren't just basic tone knobs. So the, uh, the SPC is a mid boost. What that's supposed to kind of do is that one kind of simulates making it sound more like a humbucker, which is good because I'm replacing humbucker. I really like humbucker, so I'm hoping that really works as advertised. The EXG control, the, the middle tone knob, is uh, it boosts both the low and the high and it scoops the mids, so it's all the gain. We love that here at Metal Zone Central. I cut up a little piece of foam to put over the battery just in case it were to contact that. That is a metal case. That could be bad. So we'll put that right in there. Then I've got the cables tucked out of the way. shaking. Now here's the other thing I was going to mention earlier. So if you've seen David Gomer playing his red strap, the pickguard is just straight white. It's just a one ply, remember it was a 57 reissue, so it's just a one ply white piece of plastic just like my original, well that's like I said, just like my second original uh, white pickguard. This is all perloid, which now that it's on there I think it looks pretty nice. It goes good with the candy apple red. There you can see the poor loadedness. Of course, then it kind of darkens up the 
candy apple red, which is a darker red and it's it's got a real fine metallic to it. And uh, so it looks pretty good. Gilmore had these down really low because they were still a little warm, a little hot compared to a passive single coil. And it looks like they're from the factory, they're set pretty low. Alright, so here it is, strung up. I hit a sound check. I've got uh, the two EQ knobs set on uh, five. Volume cranked on the bridge pickup. Running through the Marshall on my comfortably numb setting. not to have that buzz. The EMG David Gilmore DG20 signature pre-wired pickguard from EMG. Thank you very much.